On 29 to 30 May at night, drones of the security service of Ukraine struck a Russian radar system Nebo SVU worth 100 million US dollars in temporarily occupied Crimea. Reportedly, a Russian radar detection system was struck by the drones developed by the security service of Ukraine military counterintelligence. This complex controlled a 380 kilometers area of the combat zone near the settlement of Armyansk, protecting Russian facilities in Crimea. After the drone attacks, the space reconnaissance equipment detected no radiation from the radars, and it did not re-emerge. This complex controlled a 380 kilometers area of the combat zone near the settlement of Armyansk, protecting Russian facilities in Crimea. After the drone attacks, the space reconnaissance equipment detected no radiation from the radars, and it did not re-emerge. These systems do not provide the image fidelity required for targeting a stealth fighter, but by networking them with Russia's Gamma S-1 array broadcasting in the S and X bands, the Nebo system offers an effective means of tracking and eventually even targeting stealth fighters. It is designed for airspace control, detection, and identification of coordinates, as well as air target tracking, including strategic and tactical aircraft and stealth targets. Nebo SVU recognizes classes of targets and can determine their state affiliation. It operates both as part of automated air defense control systems and independently. The radar has a short deployment time of up to 30 minutes and is served by four people. It is stated that it has high patency and can be deployed in unprepared positions. Russia may invade Sweden's island in the Baltic Sea, it is already being warned. Russian President Vladimir Putin has his eyes on the island of Gotland. This has been stated by Swedish Commander-in-Chief Mikhail Biden, according to Global Y News media outlets. It is noted that concern was further ramped up, showing Gotland was just one part of Russia's ambitions in the Baltics in the last few days when Russia published a document suggesting that it needed to reassess the maritime borders in the Gulf of Finland. Global Y News said that the draft decree by the Russian Defense Ministry, which has since been removed, proposed that Russia wanted to revise its borders with Finland and Kaliningrad and expand its territorial waters. Gotland holds a strategically important location of being in the middle of the Baltic Sea and only 300 kilometers from where Russia's Baltic fleet is based. Sweden joining NATO and giving it access to Gotland has significantly increased the alliance's ability to deploy and sustain its forces in the Baltic Sea region and this could make a decisive difference in the defense of Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Finland and Poland. According to Global Y News, because of its strategic importance for most of the Cold War, Sweden maintained a large military presence on the island. But Gotland was demilitarized in 2005 in order to promote peace and cooperation in the Baltic region. This gesture of goodwill was immediately tested by the Russians as, not long after doing so, Russian men who did not fit the usual Gotland tourist profile began regularly visiting the island. After Russia invaded Crimea in 2014, Sweden took significant steps to protect itself, reintroducing 150 permanent troops on the island in 2016. By 2018, Sweden had expanded the number of permanently placed troops to 400, equipping them with CV-90 armoured vehicles and Leopard 2 tanks. Air defence systems were also reactivated by 2021. The geographical distances in the Baltics are small, and if Russia seized Gotland in a crisis, it could dominate the Baltic Sea region. This would make it very difficult for the West to provide reinforcement to the Baltic states by sea or by air.
Kosor. 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 Kosor.